As any tanker will tell you, the M2 Bradley fighting vehicle headed to Ukraine isn't a tank, but with the M242 machine gun and tow missile launcher on top, this armored fighting vehicle could be a Russian tank killer when it arrives in Ukraine soon. Washington committed 50 M2 Bradley fighting vehicles to the fight for Ukrainian sovereignty late last week. As part of the latest $2.85 million military aid package, the announcement of the U.S. supplied Bradley's mirrored commitments from the German and French governments for their own fighting vehicles, a move that collectively ups the ante of NATO commitment to Ukraine's fight against the Russian invaders. The Bradley isn't quite a true tank like the M1 Abrams. In most schools of armored warfare, the title of tank is reserved for massive, track-driven rolling fortresses built from the ground up to engage other armored vehicles, usually without passengers. The Bradley has both heavy armor and rolls on tracks, but its primary mission is to safely move infantry squads in its armored shell. In that role, the Bradley has been one of the Army's workhorse machines in the wars of the last two decades, moving troops in and out of combat. But the vehicle earned its reputation, and perhaps gave a preview of what to expect in Ukraine during Operation Desert Storm, where it proved that it was more than a match for Russian-built tanks. At the tail end of the Gulf War in 1991, U.S. forces, primarily composed of the 2nd Armored Cavalry Regiment, engaged in what is considered the last large-scale tank battle of the damage done by Bradleys. During the battle, then First Lieutenant Paul Haynes led a two Bradley reconnaissance mission to regain contact with another 2nd ACR troop when his element was confronted with a platoon of five T-72 tanks. Notably, T-72s remain a front and center component of Russian forces in Ukraine. The decision to send the armored fighting vehicles came after pleas from Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky for the West to send tanks to Ukrainian forces. U.S. defense officials have argued, however, that Ukraine has enough tanks, and that the M1 Abrams Zelensky's tank of choice from the U.S. is too complicated for Ukrainian tankers. The armored fighting vehicles provide a solid middle ground alternative, and though the French Defense Ministry refers to their fighting vehicle, the AMX-10RC, as a light tank, these armored behemoths are not tanks. Production for the Bradley began in 1981, when it replaced the M113 armored personnel carrier, greatly exceeding the M113 speed and power. The Bradley has been a staple of the Army's armored troop carrying capability since its introduction to the battlefield during Operation Desert Storm, losing only three of the 2,200 that were deployed. BAE Systems makes the 80,000-pound tracked, medium-armored vehicle operated by a three-man crew that can carry up to six soldiers over a 300-mile range. The Bradley comes outfitted with the M242 25mm turret-mounted gun and an optional tow missile system. The White House's announcement was made in a joint statement on Thursday, with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz pledging to send an estimated 40 martyr infantry fighting vehicles, along with the U.S. Bradleys. The United States intends to supply Ukraine with Bradley infantry fighting vehicles, and Germany intends to provide Ukraine with martyr infantry fighting vehicles. Similar to the U.S.'s Bradley, the Martyr is a tracked armored vehicle crewed by three soldiers. It can carry at least five additional soldiers, depending on other equipment. Outfitted with 20mm automatic cannons and the Milan anti-tank missiles, the Martyr brings significant firepower to the fight, 